Hey guys, welcome back and today, guys today, uh, as you guys can see by the title of this video, we are going to be talking about war weights and mathematics. Now before you guys, you know, turn away, delete the video, unsubscribe, dislike, because I said the word mathematics, uh, don't worry, stick with me, it'll definitely be a pretty interesting video for you guys. So obviously, a lot of people wonder, what are war weights? Now, if we go into actually the recent clan of the hood against Egyptian, now I know I've been showing you guys this war a lot lately. Now, this war actually is a really, really good example about me talking about war weight, so we're probably gonna watch a lot of this uh, war. But a war weight is basically a number assigned to each and every base and clash of clans that tells you basically how, how weighted that base is. Now, for example, as you guys can see here, Ginja Ninja, a Town Hall 9, our top Town Hall 9, is gonna have a war weight much, much larger than, let's say, Crush Soda here, which is a Town Hall 6. Actually, a Town Hall 7, I think. But how do you find out your war weight? Now, this is the easiest and most common way to find out your war weight. Your war weight is by simply looking at a defense. Now, as you guys can see here, to figure out my war weight, as you guys can see, Hazim Zoom, their number one player, has attacked my base. Now, I'm at Town Hall 11, which means that there's absolutely no loot penalty. So if you go in the replay here, as you guys can see on that top left corner, there's a number, and that number reads 92,000 gold and elixir. That means that 92,000 is my war weight. Now, obviously, it's, it, you know, sometimes it's not that simple. Obviously, as a Town Hall 11, there's no loot increase, or no loot, you know, penalty, stuff like that. But as you guys, simply, my war weight is 92,000. Now, if you guys look in uh, Ginja Ninja here, obviously a Town Hall 10 attacked him as a Town Hall 9. And to figure out the war weight of Ginja Ninja, all you have to do, take the number 53,600, divide that by 8 since the war penalty is 20%, so they only see 80%. So just divide the number by 8 and multiply it by now Ginja Ninja war weight. And I'll show you guys all that math on your screen right now, just so you guys can see. So that is uh, Ginja Ninja's war weight. Now, obviously, okay, I, I have this number, what does that mean? Now, this war weight is used to find clan war matchups. Now, as you guys can see, obviously, this clan war against, uh, has, uh, against uh, Egyptian, we had a Town Hall 10.5, a couple Town Hall 9s, a couple Town Hall 8s, and it was a pretty fair matchup. Obviously, on the opponents, they had also very, very similar war weights. Now, if... I'm not lazy enough. I'll actually do the math. I'll show you guys all the 10 or yeah, 15 bases on our side. The war weights of each. No, maybe not the war weights of each, but just the to total weight of the entire clan on the left side. And then on the right side, I'll show you guys the Egyptian and their total war weight. And you guys can see it's very similar. Now, obviously, you have your matchup. You have your, you know, mismatches that are, you know, like one town 11 versus 15. But are those really mismatches? If you guys remember back in the clan war here, let me go uh, into our warlock here. If you guys remember this clan war against Grand Warden, I'll show you guys a picture on the screen right now. Their number one player was awful. I mean, this guy had an eagle, but he had like level five and six walls. I'll obviously, I'll show you guys the picture on your ba on your screen right now. But guys, if you guys look at that top left corner of his base, this guy has a 96,000 war weight. And if you guys recall back from Egyptian here, what's my war weight? It's 92,000. So what does this mean? This means that that number one player that obviously I made that video of, I was making fun of, you know, last week how this guy just awful, awful base. Like, what is this? According to Clash of Clans, his, his base was worth more than my base. And that actually caused the entire clan that, like, not just that was the outmatch, but, like, our Town Hall 9s were better than their Town Hall 9s. And that's because their number one had 4,000 more war weight than me. But why? Well, how can my base with level 40 heroes, level 11 walls and stuff, match up with a base and have 4,000 less war weight than a base with, like, level 10 heroes and level 5 walls? Well, because of the Eagle Artillery. Now, as you guys know, in my base, I have every single structure in the entire game, but I don't have an Eagle Artillery. Now, that one Eagle Artillery proves in this one, you know, comparison that it is worth a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of war weight. Now, that's obviously why I refuse and probably will never get the Eagle Artillery. 
due to the fact that obviously you know this is just my 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 base is worth a lot less but that's you know a rush town hall 11 what is my base compared to a to a fully maxed out town hall 10 now if we go into egyptian you guys know this base was actually a fully maxed out town hall 10 so let's see how much available loot there is now, as you guys can see there's only 71,200 resources and you guys are probably thinking what now obviously you have to divide this number by eight multiply it by 10 but if you do that math i believe the number is 89,000. this means that my base is only 3,000 more than this fully maxed out tunnel 10 and i basically almost three started this this tunnel 10 and that's where you get in the entire philosophy of town hall 0.5 now, obviously, a Town Hall 10.5 worth only 3,000 more than a Town Hall 10 is basically, it's, you know, obviously, I, I want, it gives me easier matchups. It allows me to get, like, those eight straight wars where I got six-star wars, three-starring the number one. It's because I'm a Town Hall 10.5, but that's Town Hall 10.5. What about other Town Halls? All right, so if we look at a Crusher, Crusher's a very, very good Town Hall 8.5 here now if we visit his base he contains a war weight of 60,000 now uh, obviously osha is actually a town hall 9 so town hall 9 versus town hall 9 the war weight is 60,000 obviously as you can see by that top and that by that number on the left of your screen but how does that compare to a normal town hall point or, or uh, 9 well lightning here a town hall 9 with level 1 expos contains 64,000 now i know you guys are probably thinking so the expos only count for 4,000, but what is 4,000? Now, obviously, 4,000 is a lot more than it sounds. Now, if you visit here, uh, let's say, let's say, Benjamin. No, let's go to Noah. Noah's our top Town Hall 8. His war weight is 44,000. Actually, no, wait, this was a Town Hall 9. Uh, yeah, this is a Town Hall 8. Here, let me find a Town Hall 8 versus Town Hall 8. I think, yeah, this is a Town Hall 8 versus Town Hall 8. Benjamin's war weight is 53,000. This means that Benjamin's war weight is only 7,000 less than Crusher's, but Crusher has a level, like, 13 queen, fully maxed out, like, you know, level 4 golem, level 4, uh, Valkyries, level 5 hog riders, but it's only 7,000 more than, uh, Benjamin here, which isn't even a fully maxed out Town Hall 8. So that really shows you, a few thousand is a lot of thousand, but is it, it's not, you know, an infinite amount of thousand. So, uh, yeah, so what do all these numbers mean? Now, let here, I'll show you guys a raid in the background here. Uh, here, I'll go from our current war. I think this clan are actually losing, but we've only used, like, one here. I'll show you guys Mr. M's attack here. Well, uh, I talk a little more. But what, so what does this mean, these, all these war weights and mathematics and stuff? Now, obviously, if you're a Town Hall 8.5, you're only worth 60,000. And that 5, 6,000 is the difference between a Town Hall 8 and a Town Hall 9. Now that means that as a Town Hall 8.5, you're going to be basically in the middle of a Town Hall 8 and a Town Hall 9. And uh, this means that you'll obviously match up against either lower Town Hall 9s or Town Hall 8s. And having a level, you know, obviously fully maxed out Govaho Crusher has. And the level 13 Queen, level 10 Barbarian King, he can tear up any Town Hall 8 and really most Town Hall 9s when his war weight really isn't that much. Now that really gets into the, the just shows why... Town Hall 0.5 is, though some people might say it's really not efficient, I'll be honest with you guys, I didn't really think it was that efficient as well. If you're a hardcore farmer, it, I still don't think it's very efficient due to upgrading purposes. But if you're a hardcore war player, this really goes to show just how important war weight is. Now, as you guys can see here, Mr. M is attacking Fearless here, and I believe Fearless is that war weight is 51,000, if I am not mistaken, because I don't think any of the gold storages or the Town Hall has fallen yet. But that 51,000 crushers worth, it was 60,000. That's a 9,000 difference. But that 9,000 difference, you're looking at a Town Hall 8, really not even the best Town Hall 8 in the world, against, you know, a base like that crusher. Now, crusher is obviously a pretty high Town Hall 8.5. If you guys I'll show you guys a lower Town Hall 8.5 right here, let's, uh, let's speed through this raid. It's actually a really, really insanely close raid by Mr. M here. Really, really cool Go, Go Hope raid. Actually, he did have a pack up in there. Going to actually heal them up in the core there. Then they will take out the last two defenses and get this three star. So yeah, there's 100% right there. So uh, yeah. But if we go back into this clan war against Egyptian. As you guys can see, we have other Town Hall 8.5s. Now this is Bombers. Now Bombers is another Town Hall. But he has the same war weight. Yes, guys. Actually, upgrading a defense, upgrading two defenses is not actually going to change your war weight. 
Now, obviously, that war weight going up by 1,000, 2,000 is... It, it's it's gonna, you know, take a lot to do that. So, obviously, Bombers here, I think he still has some very, very high-leveled, uh, you know, defenses, are, are very, very high-leveled army. Level 10, Archwing, level 10, Barbarian King. But, really, the same worth as Crusher... Who really can do a lot more damage? Now, that really goes to show... Actually, no, Bomber's actually really good attack. He could do a lot of damage. But, obviously, this really just goes to show... Town Hall 8.5, Town Hall 9.5, Town Hall 10.5 are a great idea. Now, this is also Killer here. Now, Killer... Uh, he's not in this clan war. Oh, yeah, there he is. Killer is another Town Hall 8.5. He's, I believe, our lowest Town Hall 8.5. His war weight is 56,000. Now, obviously, he only has a level 1 queen in this. I believe he has, like, a level 3 or 4 queen. Maybe even level 5 by now. But obviously a level 1 queen, and I believe he also had like, you know, like, obviously if he has level 3, 4 golems, level 5 hog riders, and then only 56,000 weight, he, he's worth a town hall 8, guys. This is a town hall 8 weight as a town hall 9 with a level 1 arch queen. So he's basically a town hall 8 with an arch queen. Seem broken? Yeah. Now that's why you really, guys, you don't want to get uh, expos. You don't want to get infernos. You don't want to get eagle artillery if you can. Now, obviously... It is too late for yours, truly. I cannot delete my Expos. I cannot delete my Infernos here. Obviously, as you guys can see, but I can choose not to upgrade them. And that's what I'm going to do. Now, actually, I am going to max out my last Expos since I already have three. And it really is not going to add much war weight. But I don't plan on upgrading my... Actually, no, I'll probably upgrade everything. But I'm never going to get the Eagle Artillery. Because as you guys obviously saw from that first comparison that I did against that Town Hall 11. That was supposedly 4,000 more weight than me. Simply because it had an Eagle Artillery, two Infernos, and four Expos. So, you guys, that's it for today. I'm going to leave you guys on this note. You know, really, what do you guys think? Like, comment maybe down below what's your war weight. If you guys think that, you know, war weights are really worth paying attention to. I personally, I think they're definitely worth paying attention to. Obviously, if they go up or go down, it's definitely cool to, you know, check out. It's just sometimes it's just cool to see a base that you took out. And you can say, oh, I just took out a base with 6,000 more war weight than me. And uh, stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, guys, there it is. And that is the video. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you guys learned something, leave a like. If you if you liked any part of this video, tell me down below in the comments. And tell me down below in the comments what you got want to see in the future. So, so, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. So, peace out. And as always, clash on.